They're not going to go that far. We would we would consider that not far enough. <laughs> you know, and they're 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 not going to do that. Now right, you guys are streaming. The lovely folks have to listen to my microphone. I'll stick it on you later. Uh oh. Will it work well enough if it's like on the table to pick up people? Or Just put on your jacket. Is it better to flip it off? It's, it's for a heads up mic. Like, yeah, thanks for doing that. It looks like all's good. Streaming health 100%. And it looks like it's broadcasting. Cool. Are we live? We are in vigilante mode now with our video vigilante mechanism. Are we live? Does anybody want Yeah, to? this mic's on too. So, Oh, I don't know that part. That's oh. a good question. I just turned it on. I didn't schedule it until 6.55. So. I That's national. Well, who the national or the state party? That, that's separate. The three memberships are separate now. National, state, and county party are three different memberships. I do. I'm, I can look that up right now. I, I have the I have the latest data dump from uh, that card's going to be from national, the national party, which wouldn't which wouldn't help. But but let me check the state. If you're not, we have a form that can fix that. So you can vote. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go down the list with this real quick and, just, and verify voter status. Since it's an election, it's important to stop and do that. Uh, to voter, just to verify voter status and, and party status real quick. Yeah. That's what the Vs are. Those are voting members. So I'll just, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. That's our pin for the year. We don't want to go over budget. <laughs> Times are lean. Okay. So, rub, rub, rub. Okay, no. So we have to do that. And then voter. Are you being? That's going to go viral. That's going to be great. Right? Wherever we are, Perkins. I just need the financial. All right, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Our sergeant at arms is, is absent tonight, um, who would normally call the meeting to order and record meeting attendance. 
Uh, our secretary, Anthony, is here. who will be taking minutes uh, from, for tonight's meeting. We have uh, 12 people in attendance, uh, 10 of which are able to vote in the proceedings tonight. And I have verified the party membership status and uh, voter registration status of those 10 here. Uh, of course, that's all open for your scrutiny if you'd like to take a look at that. Uh, if we want to take a look at the agenda then, please. Uh, under meeting agenda, 2A, additions or corrections. Um, I have uh, two motions that I'd like to insert under new business. This will be before A. So there'll be two motions that I'm going to put forward before we get to, to A. If you want to make a note of that. Anything else that's not on the agenda that anyone would like to add to the agenda tonight? Yes. Um, bylaws. Uh, I know we had uh, passed them last month, and there was a draft that got formalized and rewritten, and then there was a couple uh, lingering uh, changes. Did those get a couple that I missed. Yeah, those are made, and they're in here. They're they're in this copy here. Uh, when we get to a development committee, uh, then we'll t because that's where the bylaws were, were worked under. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and bring up the bylaw revisions, and I do have copies of the new uh, new bylaws if anyone would, would like that when we get to that portion. Um, is, there, is there a point in the meeting where I thought I'd talk about the convention? Sure. Uh, why don't we put that on, uh, under new business C? Which will now, with those two additions, be the fifth item on there. But yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Sorry, what was that new item? Okay. Uh, that will become the final under new business. Which was? I didn't hear what oh, state convention. state convention. Uh, an update on the state convention from Deanna. <coughs> okay, without objection, then we'll accept the agenda as uh, proposed. Okay. Um, on to three, then. Chair report. Uh, actually, everything I would cover is coming up in other, other portions of the meeting, so I'll just stay quiet and we'll move forward into the other things then. Uh, from the secretary, you have minutes attached to your, your meeting here. There are two sets of minutes. The first is from the uh, executive committee meeting that was held two days ago. Um, there were four motions put forward in that meeting and you have the minutes there. Um, I did not vote. The chair votes in case of a tie now under our new bylaws, so I did not vote on those of so the other three members of the EC voted on these four motions. Uh, all four motions passed. Uh, in summary, they were to approve the ballot that we're using tonight for the elections, um, a printed membership form, an online membership form, and to postpone the giving of reports until tonight's meeting rather than doing it at the normal EC meeting where they, they would be first proposed. So the, all four of those passed. So without objection, we'll accept the minutes from the executive committee teleconference. I should comment too that this was the first time we met completely electronically. Uh, they were posted, people commented and voted. Uh, it was not even a teleconference. It was a 19 minute meeting on some quick items. Gotta love it. So we uh, got a lot done in a short period of time. Uh, the other uh, minutes attached there were from the meeting last month in December. Uh, we covered a lot of material. The bylaw revisions were the bulk of that, that meeting. Uh, thank you to Kevin for taking minutes at that and doing so well at that. That was a lot of information. Would you like to take a moment to look that over? Um, if you were present, if anything strikes you that, that was uh, out of, that's incorrect, please let us know. Yeah. I laid it against my notes too and it all looks like we covered it all. That was a major bylaws overhaul last month that we accomplished in an evening. Oh, not, not, nothing that major, yeah. We'll always tweak, I'm sure, the bylaws, and we should, but... Um, so then without objection, we'll accept the minutes from the last monthly meeting as written. Moving on, then, the agenda, uh, let's see. Uh, Treasurer's report. That's the legal sheet, that's uh, legal size sheet that you have. 
Patrick, any comments on the? Not deposited checks is yes. checks we write. Right. I had a question. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody's donating funds, are they able to designate what they're used for? Is that something that we write in the signature box? Yeah, we haven't addressed that, but um, I'm sure people can make earmark sure. contributions. That'd be an issue for the UC to decide, but you know, for the committee to look at. But I, I, I can't imagine that would be a problem. Yeah. Any questions on the treasurer's report? Then, without objection, we'll accept the treasurer's report as, yeah, as proposed. Yeah, I should comment also there, there's a check that's been sent to us from the state party from contributions from third quarter last year that's sitting in our, or should be sitting in our post office box. Do you recall how much? Was that like 300 and change or something? He didn't tell me an amount. Yeah. It's right around three hundred dollars that's sitting in our post office box. Yeah. Okay, Anthony, do you have the key for that? Uh, for that box? Okay. Yeah. Well we need to hook up on that then. Okay. Then without objection we'll accept the treasurer's report. Moving forward then. Um, development committee, uh, bylaws. Uh, major bylaws revisions. I do have some printouts of it if anybody wants a copy or uh, it's not posted on our website presently, uh, but it was sent out to to all the members by email shortly after the meeting. But did they want a copy? This is fascinating reading, I assure you. There's nothing better than wrangling up around the campfire with a set of bylaws and enjoying an evening under the stars. You guys are good, right? <laughs> oh, we kind of just did, we kind of did that. Oh, yeah, so did we want to keep that with checks or? Oh, we're back to that. I'm sorry. I mean, I can certainly see where that would come in handy. Do we want to? Yeah, let's keep it for now. We'll look at it going forward if we think. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's 48 bucks a year. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we could, we could obtain a cop if we needed one. So for so for do, some. Right. So do we want to just. What, what do you, as chair, as uh, treasurer, what do you recommend? I don't think, we, to be honest with you, I don't think we're writing enough checks to really worry about that. Okay. We had three checks. All right. Well, I think the treasurer has the authority, the treasurer has the authority just to delete that service then, so. Okay. Yeah, I would, yeah. Second. Go ahead and do away with that. Yeah, that, that won't require a vote. That's, All right, cool. that's within the domain of the treasurer. Um, okay. We don't have our region rep representative here to present anything from the state party. So we'll go on. Um, old business, there actually is no unresolved moving forward business. New business, uh, the motion. Um, the bylaws you have, I've been chewing over this a lot and, and the positions. We, we expanded the executive committee from five members, chair, vice chair, secretary, treasurer, and sergeant at arms. Uh, to 10 seats because we included now the chairs of the five standing committees as elected members of the executive committee. So there's five standing committees plus the five other seats, so to 10 uh, under these bylaws. The purpose uh, of what I'd like to propose is, is the purpose of that sergeant at arms position is no longer necessary because their job was to meet and greet people at meetings, to serve as that membership chair, to verify their voting status, to see if their membership was up to date all of those things. So we've really duplicated that position. Uh, so by the position description of the sergeant at arms, 
Um, I propose that, that position is no longer necessary because that is the duty of the chair of the membership committee now. Um, so the, the motion that I'd like to make then would be the following. I'd like to move, and um, this would require a second, and then we can discuss, and then we'll vote on it. Um, to delete the position of sergeant at arms and to move those duties to the membership chair. That would be a bylaws revision. There's a second, so to open that for discussion. Does that, that would all be under the membership chair then. Uh, the, the, the detailed you know, position descriptions for each of those chairs of those standing committees is to be written yet, but I can read to you what the sergeant at arms position description was. Sergeant at arms will, will call to order and adjourn uh, the general membership meetings, uh, record attendance, verify the eligibility of voting members, and serve on the membership committee. So th those are the things the membership chair would would then take on. I would agree that that's a growth. Yeah, growth. yeah, it's a growth. <coughs> okay, any other discussion on that? Okay, so I'll go ahead and call the question then. Uh, those, uh, those 10 voting members are able to vote on any motions as well as the elections yeah, today. Yes? Can we describe how um, language would be corrected and dispersed outside? Like, for instance, maybe somebody could be allocated a fixed language like, next month and vote on it next month? Sure, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll go through and uh, develop, I guess go to the development committee and then go through. Basically, it'll be a, a deletion of the word sergeant at arms and then that position description will move uh, under a uh, membership committee chair. At the next meeting, we'll also need to write the position descriptions for each of those committee chairs, which are not, which hasn't been done yet. But we wanted to see who'd be filling them so they, they have a role in, in that authoring next and time. the membership committee, there's no chair for that committee? How it would happen? We'll be electing that no. tonight, hopefully. You mean if it, if it isn't filled? Yeah. Um, any any of those positions that are not, if someone doesn't step up to run for that or no one wins that or if no one wins it, right. um, then the chair is, the seat is vacant. The chair can appoint somebody to be chair. The chairman of the, of the party uh, can appoint somebody to be mm -hmm. acting chair, but they don't have vote, that person does not have voting privileges on the EC since they're appointed and not elected. Um, that, that's how any empty seat would be, would be filled. So someone might take on those duties until we find someone that would like to run and could be elected at the next meeting for that. That's how vacancies are handled for any position. So there's no further discussion. Uh, just signify by hands. Uh, all in favor of that, the motion deleting the ease. Sergeant Arms position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven in favor. Uh, any opposed to deleting that? All right, so seven in favor. Again, under our new bylaws, the chair votes only in the case of a tie. All right, uh, the second motion for insert. When we had our last meeting, uh, we had, uh, one of the changes to the bylaws is that uh, membership now in the Hillsborough County Party is done directly by joining the Hillsborough County Party uh, and not by joining the state party first. Um, so people join the Hillsborough County affiliate directly. We, uh, that's in the bylaws. Later then, we passed a motion that uh, everyone who is currently a member of the Libertarian Party of Florida would remain a member of the Hillsborough County Party until that present membership expired, and then they, you know, then they would have the opportunity to join the Hillsborough County Party. That's how we dealt with the transition. What I learned uh, a couple of days ago from the, the state party vice chair is that state party memberships do not expire. <coughs> who knew? State party memberships do not expire. Uh, everyone's under the assumption they do because when you get the database from the state party it has a column for expiration and thousands of people are listed as expired because of the date. So that was explained to me that due to the software they used to use 10 years ago, that column is put in there automatically and it's just ignored. So most county affiliates have been going under the assumption that there are expired members when under the state party's rule they're not expired members. You can only uh, quit the party uh, or uh, be removed from the party by violating the the, um, the NAP or, or some other problem. So that's a problem. That means what we decided last month doesn't help us because if you're an indefinitely uh, LPF member, that would therefore make you indefinitely uh, a Hillsborough party meeting. So we, we need to address 
how to fix that problem now in our relationship. What if somebody moves out of Hillsborough County and their names are still on the record? Yeah, see that's my problem with indefinite yeah. membership. We set up in the bylaws that every two years you would renew your membership. It's yeah. as simple as going to a web form um, because that allows us to maintain an accurate database. You know, we want to know how many people we have that we can call upon that want to be involved, not just people who joined 20 years ago and are no longer here. Um, so uh, that was one reason for having that expiration date every two years. So we have an accurate, up-to-date, as possible database uh, membership. And it gives us an opportunity at least twice a year to communicate directly with members, too. Um, so th there's a couple of proposals, uh, or a couple ways to look at that. Um, we could set an expiration date, okay, to say everyone who was an LPF member, this is now your expiration date, uh, and here's the form, and here's the link to come up and join, and make that a reasonable amount of time. And then from this point on, and from that point on, in terms of the Hillsborough County affiliate, it would be those those persons that join either on form online or on our written form. Um, the other option, then I guess, would be to just take all of those thousands of people and and uh, say that they're our members. That seems to me to be the only two options. So. Uh, I haven't ma officially made a motion other than we need to discuss it, so we'll, we'll do discussion before motion, I guess. Um, so any thoughts on how to fix this? Well, I, I was going to state that. I think the only number we care about is people who are registered as libertarians with the voter register. I think that's the main thing. Well, it's both really, because we need to know how many, you know, who to contact in our county, I mean, who our members are. If our numbers but are in there are 1,700 people registered to vote libertarian but not 1,700 members. There's only 170-ish members, 10% of the registered voters, which is a whole other effort for the for the membership committee, you know, a whole other project. So our members are artificially inflated. It doesn't help us for recruitment purposes, for doing canvassing during elections, yeah. um, for being able to... We need to be able to look at real numbers, yeah, for accurate being able numbers. To get positions and debates or whatever else we want to do, like, we need to have accurate... We're actually numbers. the party that prefers reality. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So... Um, so thoughts on? I think your first solution works. Set a date. Yeah. Maybe what what maybe would be a reasonable amount of time? We, we can notify everybody um, of those people currently in the database as members that there's a date to go to a web form and fill it out. Um, what would be a reasonable? Well, elections are every four years. They currently have a three years, maybe I mean two years, maybe three years to be fair. Well, w once they join, they're they're a member for two years okay. from that date. But at what point now, going forward, would be that date they would need to join the Hillsborough Party directly? That, I guess that's so the question. What's the difference for them is simply they can come to this meeting and be able to vote on something? They're a party member. Yeah, they're, they're actually a party member, right? Because those are the two distinctions. You're a registered voter and a party member, and if you're both, you're a voting member. Yeah. I mean, Any if thoughts if on that? We, if we do direct outreach to simply to fill this room, you know, we can simply add it in there as Kind of deadline. Stick them on our website and tell them to sign yeah. up. Yeah. What do you think is a reasonable <laughs> deadline? At what point do we start to use our database versus the LBF database to determine who our members are? I guess is the question. What What would seem reasonable? So do you want to, to do that this year? Starting yeah, I like to do it as, uh, as soon as it's as soon as it's a reasonable amount of a reasonable window to give people time to fill out a web form. A year. Hi. Thirty. Uh, to actually pursue those people and, and see if they wanted to officially join the county party, yeah. But uh, the time frame, I would. Considering that we only need one. Time I'd recommend 90 days, personally. The, if by, I would say we'll honor all the state party memberships through the end of March, and as of April 1st, our, we'll recognize the members that have joined the Hillsborough County Party directly. April 16th. <laughs> I think that that's all well and good as a master. Yeah. You know, like, like, just for example, you pick on the tip of mine. But what if Kevin gets elected membership chair? But he's got seven things going and trying to recruit people. He may or may not be able to make that arbitrary yeah. 90 days. Yeah. That I think we should be able to revisit that with the membership committee. Okay. Because we're expecting the 100 and you said there's 180 people that are registered. In yeah. So we're, we're going to contact them and say, all 180 people, you have 90 days to, to fill out a form. And we have emails for those people, yeah. 
Yeah. But it could be as simple as, you know, an email notification. I think so we're just, I'm, I think I misunderstood what you said before. You, your recommendation would be to send this to the membership committee and have them come back with a proposal on it. And until, and until then, we go forward with recognizing all the membership from the LPF. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay, well that would be a motion. I haven't actually put a motion on the floor yet, but that would be a motion then. Is there a second to that to send this to the membership committee? Okay, Kevin, second. Okay. So all in favor then of sending this to the membership committee so they can come back with a recommendation? And all opposed? Okay, motion passes. Um, I accidentally uh, omitted from the reports and motions the membership report. Uh, is not on the agenda. If we could just go back to that quickly. That's the final page stapled in your packet. Uh, these are our numbers currently. According to the LPF, there's 181 active members uh, in Hillsborough County. And again, now we're not quite sure what that active and expired means, but um, just to be consistent with the other numbers. Uh, that will eventually be a column just for LPHC members. Um, Facebook likes is up, meetups up a bit, and then it breaks down. The reason there's nothing in the January column is these numbers are from the end of December uh, from the Supervisor of Elections Office. You can see um, the number of registered voters for each political party. <coughs> we went up a tiny bit in percentage each month. Number of registered libertarian voters is now 0.227, et cetera, of the number of voters. In so we're still under a quarter of 1% of the registered voters in Hillsborough County are libertarian, which is fascinating when you consider the thousands that vote libertarian anyway, even though they're not party members, or not registered voters, which is important. Yeah, the other 18,000 that voted for Adrian Wiley. Yeah, 17,000. For example, out of 1,700 people. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. So. I'm missing some status on Facebook. I don't get it from you guys. It's happening more than one. So you've, you've, example, last you month like the meeting. Facebook page, right? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, yeah. yes, I, I like it. I, I, yeah, it might be something in your settings then? Where I, I don't know what, what's going on. I was just going to ask you one yeah, thing. I don't know. Um, do you guys have another alternative? Could be an email list that we can send an email? Yeah, and, I, and I that, that's know. all going to go to this new com uh, communications committee. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. I think I think we should duplicate all of our efforts. Anything that's yeah. posted should be sent out by email. Yeah, also, the thing is, like, if Facebook is going to do that to me, sure. I well, want we, we, we from you guys. Yeah, communications committee is going to have to work out an efficient method of communicating. Yeah, need to have other alternatives. And it's just like you know, they, they do that with yeah. posts sometimes. Sometimes you don't see a post in like three days later. You know what I mean? I don't know if that yeah, I'm not sure what the reason for that is, but I can, I can we'll need to do a workaround. Yeah, I've been doing uh, an email and the Facebook. Yeah, if I don't have your email, you can, for, you can email me. Yeah, we're required by the bylaws to notify members 14, 14 days in advance of this meeting each month. So I like what you did. we've I been doing a, that by email. I got a message especially from you. Yeah, we can't rely just yeah, on. I like that because I got it right away. Yeah. I got the info of the meeting from, from Meetup, even though I'm on Facebook. And right. Email, so, so. Yeah, and the Meetup as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so then without objection, we'll accept the membership report. As presented. Thanks for bringing it together. All right, thank you. It's, well, I like numbers, and this is a good way to, to chart our growth. So, all right. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it isn't. Yeah, you look at it. There is there is no no legitimate growth. So that's why we need to look at these numbers. Well, we'll be impressed going forward with it each month. Then How's bring that? a friend next month. Yes, absolutely. All right, we'll go on then to uh, the next item under new business, which is the election of officers. Uh, we then have nine positions to elect tonight, since the Sergeant at Arms 
no longer exists. Um, under the bylaws, we begin with chair, then, then vice chair, treasurer, secretary, and then each of the standing committees uh, in alphabetical order, which should be how they're listed on that ballot. Um, so this is the procedure uh, prescribed in the bylaws. Uh, we'll take one office at a time. We'll open the floor for nominations. Uh, the bylaws require a nomination and a second. Am I correct? Let's look that up real quick. Since they're new, I want to make sure we're doing this under the new bylaws. Does receive a second. Okay, so there's a, it can, so a nomination can die for lack of a second. So a motion and a second is required. Uh, put someone's name forward. Uh, they then need to obviously accept. I think it would be appropriate. I think Roberts even requires that that nomination. Um, and then once everyone has been nominated, we'll read through the list of those names in alphabetical order and then vote. We do have a written ballot for that. And under the bylaws, the treasurer and secretary count those votes. Anyone wishing to count them as well is welcome to do that. Any voting members that would like to count them as well is, is always welcome to do that. Okay, why don't we begin with chair. So the chair position nominations that are open. Yes. Is anyone, is anyone writing uh, candidates for, for uh, there, there were no right. There were no no one no one notified us in writing of, of any nominations for any positions. Thank you. They're able to do that, but that deadline's passed, so there's no additional write-ins right now. So are we doing like? So we're opening nominations now for the for the position of chair for the next year. Are we doing like open nominations here and then oh. private ballot afterwards? Yes, open nominations first. If anyone wants to nominate anyone for the position of chair, yes, yes sir. And nominate Brian Collins. Thank you. There's a nomination for, oh, thank you, for Brian Collar and a second. Okay, anyone else? Any other names being put forward? For chair? Any other names? Yep, sure. Yeah, that no, was. We read through them so many times I can't remember what's in them. I know. <laughs> All of the things we discussed is still swimming around in my head. It, Uh, th those able to vote, uh, Bobby, Brian, Anthony, I'm sorry, is it Kathy or Casey? I'm sorry. Um, am I able to vote? Uh, yeah, you're a party member and a registered Libertarian voter. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, Patrick, uh, Kevin, Deanna, Felix, Allison, ballot, and uh, Matt, Matt and Ellen. Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, Not Wilder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any other nominations? Okay. Uh, one comment uh, when you're voting, uh, you are able to write in NOTA as the person you're voting for. Uh, did we pre check the boxes or are they checking the boxes as they vote? Uh, okay. So you want to check chair as the, what, as the office you're voting for. Uh, there are some pins floating around. Yeah, here's a couple more. You'll want to check chair for this election, and then you can write in that person's name. The only candidate nominated at this point is Brian Collard. If you are voting for NOTA, which is none of the above, write NOTA. The way this works, if candidates are defeated by NOTA, then those candidates are out for that term of office. They cannot be in the, in the election. If NOTA should win, then those people cannot run again under our bylaws for that term, which is one year, for that position, because in essence they've been rejected as a candidate a potential candidate for that office. And then our treasurer or secretary, if you want to, do you want to go around and collect those? Is that the best thing that you can audit, make sure you've got? Treasurer, take care of it, okay. I'll, yeah, that's Kevin, I'll vote on the other ones, I think. George Washington is about to have something to comment. <laughs> Noda is awfully libertarian of us, by the way. <laughs> and you're 
I'd love to see it on the. I'd like to see it in the uh, public elections. Wouldn't you? Uh, actually, I could vote on this, but I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'll vote on the other one. Yeah, because I'd be. I'm voting as a member, not as. No, no. Robert says you can't self-nominate. Somebody has to nominate them, and they can't second their own nomination either. Well, if somebody true. could say that's something I might be interested in, and then I could. Oh, sure. You, you can kick somebody under the table, but nominate me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can do that. I'm interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can certainly make yourself known if you should. I asked my wife to nominate. <laughs> I I didn't follow the procedures there. We were supposed to open it up for questions before you voted, so. Feel free to take your vote back, but are there any questions sure, of the yeah. candidate before going forward? I thought I'd spare you any kind of a speech. I know that's the last thing we want to hear. Okay. I mean, it, I, if I could say in two sentences, yeah. my passion is to build this party uh, until this party is large enough and strong enough that it can't be stopped, so that we can restore liberty. That's my goal. Yeah. World domination? Yeah. I like a one-party system, and I like it to be ours. <laughs> world order. So, just saying. <laughs> all right, well, I have the results. Okay, do you have some? Do you have some, or do you, does he have all of them? I count them, and then I get back there. Okay, so the secretary, then, he, and uh, you're also recording, right? So, okay. Yeah. So the results are eight for Brian Collar, one for Colonel Debuff. So right. Brian Collar is reelected. All right, thank you. And congratulations to none of the above. Yeah, the first vote. <laughs> I always love when nobody gets a vote. It just, you know, that's cool. All right, we're going to move on to vice chair. Where do you want me to put these? Positions of vice chair. Um, actually, hang on. Does any, why don't we hang on to them in case anybody wants to see them? And at the end of the meeting, we'll discard them. Yeah, sure. Because okay. they've been accepted and recorded. Um, the position descriptions are in the bylaws. I'm not going to read them for each, each candidate, but if you'd like to see them, and if anybody else wants to copy the bylaws, I just encourage you to read those. Oh, and we'll open the nominations. I'm going to step out of the chair for a moment and, and nominate Patrick. Um, Patrick Kerr for vice chair nomination. And then back into the chair. Is there a second? Can we, can we get on that nomination? In case we don't know. Patrick Kerr, K E R R. Yeah. And there's a second. Uh, other nominations for chair, vice chair? Any other nominations before we close? Nominations? Going once, going twice. Nominations are closed, so it is Patrick or Noda <coughs> are your options. Uh, any Patrick, would you like to say anything? No. Okay. Any questions for Patrick? You, you, you know, I'll ride your coattails on that one. Okay. Ditto. 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 The more we speak, the more trouble we get into. Is that the, is that the, the, life, the life lesson? <laughs> okay. So we'll begin the voting on that. If you'd like to go ahead and vote. Oh, they're all going to the... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to touch them. So. Okay. Nothing up my sleeve, but I don't want to touch them. All right. <laughs> All right. Is that everyone? Any, any other balance? No? Okay. Basically, we'll await the outcome. And it's unanimous, Patrick. All right, very good. Okay. Congratulations, Patrick. L looking forward to it. Yeah, you, yeah, you shut out Noda, man. Good job. <laughs> Noda could be vicious. Okay. I want to make sure I'm doing these in the right order. Apologize for the delay, but especially elections can be overturned if anything isn't done exactly to the bylaws. 
Okay, treasure. Don't fight over this one. Um, um, bylaws say treasure is next. Did I put them on the ballot in the wrong order? Treasurer would be a higher uh, yeah. office. Yeah. Um, okay, treasurer. We'll open up nominations for the office of treasurer. Um, the tr if I can footnote this, maybe as a word of encouragement for someone. Uh, the treasurer position is, of all of them, probably the least time, time demanding um, at this stage. There's not, there's not a tremendous amount of flow in and out. That's something we're looking to correct. But at this point and for this next year, it's, it's, not, it's, it's something that someone's able to really do in their spare time. They're not meeting with committees. They're not working with, with other folks. They're just recording our financials. Uh, they do have to go online and fill out the Supervisor of Elections financial report quarterly um, and then have a monthly financial report available to this body. Um, but in terms of time commitment, uh, it's really something you can do independently on your own time. Yeah. Patrick, what, uh, you've, you've been treasurer. What amount of, uh, how much a month? Two and a half months, three months. A month. Yeah, how, how much time for each it's month is it taking you? Yeah, it's, the, to, to get on the, uh, the um, website there. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just couple hours, in. couple hours a month maybe. 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 Yeah. And then uh, the treasurer is required to attend the uh, executive committee meetings, which are done electronically, uh, to present that report. And then, if possible, to attend the membership meeting uh, to present that report and answer questions. So. Okay. So we'll we'll open nominations for treasurer. I nominate Cassandra Davis. Okay, we have one nomination for Cassandra Davis. Uh, is there a second for Cassandra's nomination? Patrick's willing to second and vote for anyone that isn't him for treasurer. No. Uh, no, it's really not. Um, any other nominations? Okay, Cassandra, is that okay with you? Does that mean with your acceptance? All right. Thank you. Uh, any, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, I'm really good at math and managing money, so Ding. I'm the right person for the job. There we go. Yeah, perfect. And, and Anthony's nodding his head, so I, I'm going to take his, his testimony. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any questions? No math quiz? No. Okay. No Common Core math questions we want to put in front of us? <laughs> any other nominations before we close nominations? Going, going. Okay, Cassandra or Cassie, Cassie, either one on the ballot would be acceptable. Yeah. Uh, or notice. So with no, see no other nominations, then we'll close nominations and uh, hold the election of Office of Treasurer. And members are able to vote for themselves, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, members get to vote, so whoever they vote for. <laughs> it's when they vote no to that I think it's interesting. <laughs> Oh, I didn't vote on that one, but you may not need to. Oh, okay. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, because we had an attack plan again. Maybe a Brian. Exercise money. Something or another. We're not going to be picky about spelling here, right? No. no. Only if there's a contest. <laughs> here you go. There's one more. Did you run your child's name in the chat? Did you go to the child's name hanging? <laughs> yeah. I think confused me for a moment, right? My yeah, Florida. The Florida deal. Okay, so the results are nine for Cassandra, one for Noda. So okay. Thank you. Thank you for serving. Good. Look forward to working with you. Yes. Okay, secretary. Uh, duties of secretary are listed in the bylaws. Uh, it is to record uh, the minutes of executive committee and of uh, general membership meetings or find someone that's able, that is able to do that uh, in your absence or the chair can appoint someone to take minutes in their absence. Uh, the secretary maintains the official record book of uh, which will we'll begin, we'll get caught up to this point uh, and then we'll begin that this year of a, an official record book of all minutes and reports uh, for the county party. Again, so attending meetings, uh, voting, and uh, and submitting reports. Oh, wow.
required. Did you get one for the secretary? I, I didn't yet, no. They're testing it, can't be now. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, hold on a minute. Then I second that. No. All right. Is there? We'll open nominations then. If, if, is there anyone else? I nominate Anthony. I think you've done a great job. I mean, if somebody wants to continue to do it. <laughs> I mean, the only situation with me continuing to do it is that um, my. If you're out of town, I can do it. Would you be able to do it if I'm out of town? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Trey, uh, yeah, you can appoint someone, or the chair can appoint someone in your absence to do it. All right. What well, do you think? I mean, if, that, if that works, then I, I'm willing to accept the, the yeah. nomination. And, this, uh, and I assume the secretary would have the option of, you know, recording a meeting and taking minutes up, you know, after the fact as well. So. Yeah, and then you just got to email it, or you're still on Facebook, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's still on Facebook, so she can communicate with you that way. Excellent. I don't know how long she'll be there, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there a second for Anthony's nomination? Okay. All, right. All, right. All right. Any other nominations? Okay. We'll close nominations. And uh, any questions from Anthony? Yeah, Anthony, you can always do it off of the video tape. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we have so many different. And the tape sometimes is difficult to know who, like, who would be seconding and who would be. Yeah. Uh, unless, yeah. unless the chair. Yeah, the secretary. And then would you verify as well? Um, yeah, just let me yeah, just, yeah, I understand. Just let me know what the exact results are. Um, yeah, if, if the chair were being really good at this, I'd be repeating the names of who seconded and who nominated for the audio record since we are going that route. Okay. I think it's, I think it's always good to be, to be recording these, especially, meetings, especially something this important. Um, so there's always a permanent archive and everything's always out in the public. If we have to deal with something of, of a sensitive na nature like a center or something like that, we could always do those in closed session. Too much under to change Robert, my vote? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> vote early, vote often. Right. <laughs> okay, we've got nine for Anthony, one for Noda. Okay. Yay. Noda made it again. Noda's doing well. <laughs> if you change your name to Noda legally. Yeah, All right. Uh, who's keeping? He's keeping the pile. Okay, uh, sergeant in arms position no longer exists, so we will go on then to the standing committees. Uh, each member of each chair of the standing committees is now an elected member of the EC, and we are to take them in alphabetical order, which would mean campaigns committee. Uh, I can give you a, a rough idea of a position description, although the committee, in conjunction with the EC, will write the final one. Uh, their job will be to look for uh, candidate and issue opportunities for us uh, to re help it, to assist in recruiting and training uh, candidates and uh, to help us communicate with candidates that we've endorsed or to put candidates forward for endorsement. So anything relative to uh, elections on issues, initiatives, uh, and candidates would come under the campaign committee. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I can. That, you can, they'll probably get some of that from the political action committee as okay. well. So th there's going to be some overlap between each of these. Yeah. No, the position descriptions is not yet. Okay. Yeah. It was midnight, and we wanted to go home last month. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps there'll be an there'll be a liaison to, to a candidate or recruiting and train, hoping to train our own candidates, looking for races so we don't miss them, uh, and uh, trying to put forward candidates. That we can endorse and support in Hillsboro. Yeah, that's definitely a big deal. Um, campaigning, uh, knowing who's elected now and who's mm -hmm. uh, who, which uh, precinct or which um, elected position is going to have multiple candidates running, like more than three or four, so that we're not in a head to head race. We're in a more. Um, you know, so to make sure you get one. And then one of, one of the duties of the chair also is to then, you know, be working on recruiting members for their committee. We just don't all want to serve on each other's committees. That defeats the purpose of, of the whole new structure. So, and there'll be some of that in the beginning, of course. 
but you know, as we're going and doing outreach, and you see somebody has a specific passion for something, it's bringing them in and having them, you know, assist on a committee or advise on a committee or work on a committee, so we can really build these. Okay, so we'll open the nominations for campaign committee. If you are interested in this, to wave a hand, spill something, kick someone, do something so that we know who may be interested. Um, if no one's put forward and no one wins the election for it today, then the chair can appoint someone to fill in as acting chair of that committee, but they do not have a vote on the executive committee since they're appointed, not elected. Um, and, sorry? Any nominations for that? Um, it's actually one of the tougher, I think, to to fill. But because we're all, we're all, we're all I'm, I'm sure we're all feeling really green in that area, so there'll be a lot of uh, on-the-job training. Yeah. Uh, nominate Deanna. Now it's good. If, it, if, if you, if it, uh, the, the chair would rule your withdrawal in order. <laughs> this is probably not the first priority right now in our development, um, but soon. But very soon, yeah. Okay. So, were there any, any other nominations? Okay. Yeah, we should record that. Yes. If we Do don't get yeah, a round record. of for this and say like later some there's a Yeah, we can come back can at the end of anything there's unfilled. There's, there's an actual yeah, absolutely. A fight for some other position later that yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, yeah, that would that would be in order. Would sure, that would be in order. All right, well then, seeing that there's no nominations for this, I'm going to table this the election for this office. Uh, that's allowable. Okay, so we move on then to communications committee. Yeah, hang on to that. The communications committee, uh, this position, uh, again, I'm uh, kind of shotgunning this since we haven't written these yet. Uh, this, is an, this is an outgoing uh, committee. So when we want to communicate with the public, the, 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 uh, some committee has, a, has an activity planned. Uh, we have a position planned. Uh, we have something we'd like to say to the public and invitations to meetings. I'd like to see all of that funneled through this communications committee so that it's really being done with a plan and, and with some intent and some, some, some discipline and, and consistency and quality and our branding and all of those things we've got to look at, um, just as you put any product forward. So th this committee that is responsible for getting the word out to the public uh, on behalf of, of the county party. So it's, it's electronic, it's press releases, it's setting up, perhaps setting up interviews and opportunities and speeches. Anything that's outgoing in terms of communication on our behalf would be this. The website would fall under that. The Facebook meetup, all of those would fall under the communications committee and everything would be submitted through them uh, for release. Uh, that way there's real good consistency on our message. Um, does anyone can pass up the, com the campaign committee ballot? So um, I'll open up the nominations then for communications committee. Kevin. Kevin's been nominated. Is, is there a second? Second? All right. Do you accept? I accept. Kevin? All right. Thanks. Any other nominations for communications committee chair? Okay. Um, so I didn't. Maybe if I stand up, you won't forget me. No, oh, wait. No, I didn't even get into the Oh, he needs one also. Communication. Well, I, I was going to pass it around that way after it got back this way, but I didn't This is communications. Yeah. That's what I'm All right, so with no other nominations, then we'll vote. Your, your options are Kevin, Kevin O'Neill, or Noda. Are your candidates? So now we have three. So 
So there's one. Communications committee. for some very exciting video, I can tell you. We'll be able to sell this as a fundraiser. Yeah, I was going to have a sign person walk through. And Applause? Like, you know, like Boo? Piss? Gasp? Like one of these guys, you know? Gasp? Oh, that was mine. Okay, so. Right, right. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. All right, um, for the record. All right. to take in a public. All right. We'll move on then to uh, membership committee, position description, recruiting members, uh, outreach opportunities to reach, to reach potential members, uh, verifying their membership status at meetings, uh, their uh, voter roll registration. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get our database um, on the cloud for that, for that person so that Members of the EC can see who the members are. I, I, this is uh, membership. Did I skip one? Oh, I did. I'm sorry, I did. Development. I'm sorry, development. Yeah, they have to be alphabetical. I'm sorry. This is development committee. Let me back up. Development committee uh, is, is a bit broader than that. Uh, development committee is, uh, I think, where some of the vision casting will start. Uh, where do we want to go? What do we want to be developing? you know, developing a 10-year plan, uh, which is edited daily, uh, that work, working on that, that plan, um, something like bylaws, you know, bylaw revision proposals may come from one source from that as we grow and expand to make things consistent with our paperwork. Um, so, um, honestly, it, it probably will end up just being a couple of people on that committee because it's really a, serving as a think tank and a planning committee. Uh, the development committee easily could be assigned tasks, you know, look into the possibility of this and that, that sort of thing. All right, so I'll open nominations for, I'll open nominations for development committee at this time. Just for the record, uh, multiple people can have multiple positions, can't they? Um, uh, actually, we didn't address that in the bylaws. They, they still have one vote. Um, Ideally, no, because the committee should be so busy that you wouldn't have time to take on a second committee chairmanship. Um, someone might be assigned, you know, as an acting seat if, if that seat is vacant uh, to get through until we do have someone. But um, we, we haven't addressed that in terms of the bylaws, but, um, but it's still one vote, even, even if you hold two seats. They wouldn't be able to accept. Have enough people so to it's required to accept. Yeah, barely. To yeah. fill all nine? Yeah. yeah so. so. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 what, what ha there's two options. It just stays vacant. Um, I can appoint somebody until somebody's elected at the next meeting, uh, or it can stay vacant until the next meeting and then be, and then somebody can be appointed. If, if, and then somebody can be elected. If someone's appointed, they don't have a vote on the executive committee, though. Like they can still manage that committee. For a month, hold it out if or it can stay empty until, it can stay unoccupied uh, until, yeah, until we can recruit someone for it and then vote upon them. So those are kind of the options if a seat goes empty. So we, we're open for nominations right now? We're open for nominations. Um, I nominate Felix for, for development. development. Uh, it is uh, 
kind of looking at the vision, what are the, what are the needs, where do we want to go, uh, working on a, a plan and a strategy to get toward those goals. Um, you know, making suggestions that, you know, if we do have goals and we adopt proposals for new projects, then, you know, bylaws sometimes have to be adjusted and tweaked uh, for that purpose. Uh, so it would be that sort of thing. Yeah, it has its downsides, too. Uh, working with me and Patrick a lot, she said. Uh, no, but this. So is that something you'd be interested in? Okay, is there a second? Any other nominations for? Just for R D. The letter R and the letter D. Pronounce my last name. Felix has been a member of the, the National Party for a long time, and actually, as of tonight, is our first Hillsborough County filled out the paperwork. Our first official Hillsborough County only uh, member. <coughs> All right. Any other nominations then for development committee? All right, we'll go ahead and vote on development committee then, please. Felix or none of the above are your candidates. We're getting there, everybody. Thank you for your patience. I would be going around and getting it, but I'm busy typing. Sure, no, he's doing minutes as well. <coughs> Same nine with one for Noda. What was that? Nine, nine with one for Noda. Okay. All right, Felix, thank you. Okay, then uh, going on then to membership committee. This is the committee that will design membership recruiting schemes, uh, look for opportunities for outreach. Uh, and of course, there's some overlap and a lot of good communication between all these committees, but that's their main focus is maintaining members, the membership database, recruiting and expanding membership members. Okay, so we'll open nominations for membership committee, perhaps attending events, you know, and up passing out materials, serve voter drives that would, pro would probably come under that, or political action or both, depending on how they're... We haven't. We haven't addressed that. Okay. Yeah, we haven't addressed that. I mean, I would, um, and, and Josh is actually not able. He, he told me for this year he's not able to do anything. He doesn't have any time. Yeah, he doesn't have any time. Um, I'd like to step out of chair and nominate Deanna for membership. She's going to, she, you knew I was going to do that. I've been pestering, no. I've been pestering her for, uh, for a long time. Um, I thought you just said some, one person can't hold. Well, we haven't ruled. Yeah, that, there isn't a ruling on that yet. So well, I was going to wait until it became an issue if it did, and it just did. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, if I think you say something, um, I pretty much want to respect, respectively you know, withdraw all of them. Okay. Available, I'm not like this because I have an outdated head of time and really to be chair of one committee. I definitely plan on helping out a lot and getting down the other committees where, you know, where possible. But uh, I, think it's, I think it's time for us to step up and, and run this stuff. So, uh, I don't want to double dip on sharing two things okay. either. All right, thank you. Are, are there any other nominations for membership? Chair, at this point, this is an important one that we'll need to fill as soon as we can so we can begin membership growth. Okay, 
Uh, if it's something that you might want to, that you're interested in perhaps doing on an acting basis, temporarily until we find someone, just speak to me after the meeting because I can appoint the acting chairs. Uh, we'll table that. She declined before the second. Uh, so, uh, all right. Um, so we'll table that as well, uh, the membership committee. And then finally, uh, political action committee. Um, I, th I think this d differs a bit from the campaign committee. Uh, political action committee may be more issues related. There's something going on in the news. Someone's property is being you know, seized in the county, something like that. Something that we would want to jump on, do a rally at, have a presence at, you know, be writing letters, being posting, something like that that's really uh, about uh, the county party being involved in a political event uh, in, uh, that affects the, the voters. Nothing to do with the legal description of a political action. No, this is not a PAC. This is not a fundraising PAC by, by those legal definitions. Uh, it's, not, it's not that, because that's a whole separate in, incorporated entity. Yeah. So th this is one that's engaging in political activity uh, that's not campaign related. This campaign committee really needs to be its own entity. Uh, but this is looking for opportunities here. When, when we've done, you know, uh, non-campaign signing and events and, you know, when legislation comes down or there's things pending, political action committee may want to call uh, all the, the libertarian members to be at a certain representative's office to speak to them or do signing. Something, you know, where we, we want to add weight uh, from the county party or go speak at a, a, a Hillsborough County uh, County Commission meeting or, a, or a, you know, a school board or a develop, yeah, you know, yeah, where there's opportunities for us. I'd like to see us become very visible uh, in, in our... Bringing those ideas to the group, not necessarily having the group decide just something they want to Yeah, do, yeah. Those, Looking for opportunities, yeah. And then uh, finding out the details of that, working out how we would do it, how we'd be the most effective. Um, there might be something going on, e either a vote or something in the news that the chair may appoint that committee to look into it and see if there's something we can have a presence at. I'd like to see our, like to see us have a strong presence at county meetings and city of Tampa meetings and school board meetings. Uh, we need to become very vocal and very visible. If anybody wants to help us out, how do you feel? Okay. So is that, if that's something that you're passionate about, elbow or kick your neighbor so they nominate you now. <laughs> Political Action yeah. Committee. Sorry? Okay. Is there a second? Political Action Committee? Excellent. Any other nominations? Okay, we'll close nominations for Political Action Committee. And uh, we got to make sure you get one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any LLANS? Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. I was about to nominate you. Nobody else did. Get collected. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, it's like one. Results. Nine four one nota. Okay, very good. Thank you, Matt. Look forward to it. So, uh, am I correct that uh, the two that we've tabled are campaign committee and membership committee? Mm -hmm. Are those? Unless somebody now wants to do this campaign. Yeah. Is there anyone now inter interested in campaign committee or membership committee? Are those no. those are the two unfilled no. seats no. out of the nine at this point? Okay. Yeah, I heard that. That's good. I'll make it up. Um, <laughs> okay. Who's interested in these two spots? Okay. Anybody? Which one are you? Okay. And we'll work forward. There are.
there are some people you know that have been involved with this over the past that I may speak to about acting or something like that. And here, we'll get back on that. The campaigns one, uh, we have a little time on that. The membership one um, is, is key. That's real important. So we'll need to be thinking about uh, basically recruiting membership, maintaining the membership database. Um, that sort of thing. Yeah, please. If the chair could do a membership meeting with anyone who to be a member committee, just to kind of get the ball rolling it's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Attending events and doing yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to get it just to get it rolling and then we'll go from there. Yeah. For for example, in, in the past we you know we have our monthly meeting, but we've also had monthly socials, where it's just to get together for dinner. Uh, we've talked about maybe having two or three of those a month in different parts of Hillsborough County. That's something that may come under the membership committee, where they would just do those socials. It's just a chance that people do come out <coughs> because they don't want to be involved in party business. They want to come discuss politics, meet other libertarians. That's what the socials are for. I can see that fitting under this membership committee nicely that they would manage. So <coughs> we do, and that's the more social social aspect of what we do, where we can really do the networking and begin the grassroots process at those socials. That's awfully important. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, Deanna. Thank you. Well, I'll do that. So you're just going to have that discussed at socials? Yeah, we may set up a, a social and a kind of a membership committee meeting event. That's for the so I'll do that. Okay. Email addresses? Yeah. Yeah, and now we'll have to create them for <coughs> for the new position. Like if we find people that we know are looking for. Or actually, actually, the communications committee will have to create those email addresses. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Let's see what the handle rolls past. That's great. Yeah, it's just been two months of handing things away from the chair. This is cool. I like this. Well, That's the way it's got to be. Does it give you your password list? Yeah, nothing gets done if it all falls on a couple of people. It's all right. got to be disseminated and well, networked. Well, if you bump into it's someone, great. then you can say, oh, th I know a committee where you can do yeah. it. We've talked about making just a set of county business cards, and we all have them, and we can pass them to people. Right. It's a networking thing. Okay. All right. Well, uh, then we're concluding the election process um, for this year. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a good year. It's going to make some history real soon here. Um, thank you. Um, okay. The next item on there is fundraising. Uh, we always need to be doing some fundraising. Uh, there are slips back here if you'd like to make any kind of contribution before you leave to fill out and, and money for the, the basket. Um, and then um, feel free to do that. I just wanted to put it on the agenda so I'd make sure and mention it. Um, uh, we actually need a basket or a three-cornered three hat or something. All right. I'll be accepted. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, because one of the functions of a political organization is to raise and wisely spend a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> so... <laughs> you know, we need to we need to all, all grow into that, and that's just you know that's just part of it. Someone's got to fund the the battle. You know, I guess it's us. <laughs> so uh, please do what you can there, um, and that'll be something the development committee down the road will be deciding. You know, looking at if we need to have annual campaigns and annual giving and monthly whatevers and whatever we can set up uh, as we work toward perhaps even having a budget and a plan for that. That might be the first step by the course of this year. That that sort of. The, the, one of the goals for this year is yeah, to have an operating budget. Yeah. Um, okay. The bylaws provide for it. So. Um, all right. State convention. Jan, do you want to speak to us about the Libertarian Party of Florida State the, Convention? Um, Statewide um, convention. Mm -hmm. I was the chair of the convention when it was in Hillsborough last year, and now I'm the state convention this year is June 5th through the 7th. Speak into the flashlight. Um, it's in Newport Ritchie, so Quality Inn. Um, Friday night, it's, there'll be a cocktail event. And then Saturday, start the convention all day. Sa Saturday, Saturday night. Tentative speaker right, right now is Gary Johnson. Yeah. Um, what year? What month? It's June 5th through the 7th. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday night's just a cocktail. Saturday is actual big business day. And then Sunday's um, just a follow-up. If anyone went to Hillsboro last year, it's the same format. They're looking for, there's a website. can't tell you what it is right now, but um, Facebook event. It's on Facebook. Um, I'll share it to the county page, um, but they're trying to think what's, it's close to us, so we don't have very far to drive. Newport Ritchie's only probably an hour from here, maybe. There is, it's all different. You could do a la carte, you could do a whole package where it includes over the whole weekend in a hotel room and all the meals and everything. Um, there's, there's no feed into the business portions no. of the meeting as a member, though. State, it's and that's of the a state member. A state so if you're member. Only a member of Hillsborough. You're, you're unable to, to vote at the meeting, but you have to join the state party. So you have a national, a state, and a county party right. to join if you want to. And there's like a third, uh, 60 day window where if you're not registered for the state party, that you need to be. And I'll come back to the next meeting and get to have that date because you need to fill out a delegate form. Um, but it's really tentative. I mean, everything's planned out, but. Nothing's on the books. I hear you got still tentative. But, um, and Wes Benedict, who came and did our fundraiser last year, that we raised so much money, he's coming back again. So he's going to have something for the affiliates about how to fundraise. So there's some stuff that's going to actually help the affiliates. Right. I heard uh, from my, my friend who's on the executive board in Lake County that uh, there was something about Stephon Mulview and uh, Ben Swan possibly coming. I was just watching half of it yesterday. Ben Swan's <laughs> lunch is on Saturday, and it'll be $35 to attend a lunch. And there'll be a lunch, and he'll just be the speaker during the lunch break at the convention. And I'm trying to see what else we have. Where is that stuff listed here? I will post everything on the. There is a Facebook page. It's called. We have an actual name. We didn't have a name for a theme for our convention. We just called it the um, Libertarian Party of Florida Convention. They're, they have a theme called Building for Success. That's what the Pasco County. Is Ben Swan the news guy? Ben, yeah. yeah. Okay. What were the dates of the I'm sorry. Ju Friday, June 5th through Sunday, June 7th. If you do have a business, and uh, they're looking for vendors to be there the whole weekend, as well as there's going to be they, there's going to be selling advertisements for the, the the program of events. So, and it's all fundraising, so it's not it's going towards Pasco County. So it's not I'm not I'm trying to get you to help them raise the money because it's a lot of a lot of money and a lot of work that goes into finding the convention. Yeah. And closer to the event, I'll become they're going to need volunteers from everybody. So. You're going to go for the day, and you don't necessarily want to spend thirty-five dollars for lunch. You can maybe volunteer to help them with something, and then you might get this. You can maybe see the speakers for free, kind of thing. So, volunteer stuff might be helpful for you to make it more affordable. Any questions? Thank you. If you've not been to one, it's really a nice weekend. Uh, it's a very nice one that that we hosted last year. That Jana coordinated, and it was a really nice event. Um, so try to attend these if you can. And the national convention is in Florida, Next 2016. 2016. It'll be in Orlando. And Vicky, who's the Vicky Kirkland, mm -hmm. who heads it to some of our meetings, she's on the national committee, and she's one of the people that will be in charge of helping with the planning of that Orlando. Yeah. And that'll be the nominating committee, uh, the nominating convention for our presidential candidate, as well as bylaw revision. Uh, I know that's why you'd want to go in the bylaw revision, but uh, and just just party business and electing a executive committee member to the national party. But again, you have to be a member of the national party to attend that as a delegate. So national, state, county, all separate. But uh, I'd encourage you to do both of those, the state and the national. And I'm sure somebody from Castle County will be one of the meetings to sell because they want to take early. Well, let us know what we can do to help them out too. Yeah. All right, thank you.
next on the agenda then, um, the next general membership meeting will be the, the second Wednesday of February, uh, the same location. We, we may go back to our format of having a, a guest speaker at 7 o'clock for 30 minutes and beginning the meeting at 7.30, so there's already been some suggestions for guest speakers if you have an idea. We just want to keep them to about 20 minutes with 10 minutes of Q&A so and starting the meeting at 7.30. Uh, and then the business meeting beginning at, at 7.30. The uh, executive committee meeting, um, that'll be a to be announced now that it's so many people. I'll send out an email. We'll have to coordinate when we get together. Uh, committee meetings, um, if you are now a committee chair, if you can be thinking through, and, and I'll communicate with you over the next few weeks, uh, so we can come up with a good description of that committee's uh, duties, responsibilities, and activities. And then let's be thinking uh, about that. If you know of someone or if you yourself would like to assist on or serve on a committee, you know, please speak to that person tonight uh, or myself or get in contact with us uh, so we can start plugging people in. Several weeks, uh, several months ago, we passed around a form with a list of committees and people put their names by the ones they'd be interested in assisting on. So I'll pass that information and contact information onto those committee chairs as well. Um, and then uh, once we've updated, once the communications committee uh, has updated the, face, the uh, website with everyone's contact information, uh, perhaps we'll want to send out a uh, communication to all of our membership with the new executive committee people listed as well as those descriptions and how they can become involved and then we'll start asking our membership to become involved in those committees. Um, we have had people that fill out sort of a talent survey over the past couple of months, things they they're interested in helping on, so people have filled that out online. So we'll start that process of passing those on to those committees um, so we can begin to develop those committees. Uh, when they meet, how they meet, it's up to those chairs and as they work and communicate through uh, ways that are going to be most productive for them. And there is a Facebook work page for each of these committees which is a closed page, so uh, I'll send out the invitations to the people that are on those committees now. If you're an executive committee member at all, you're, you're automatically have access to every one of those committee pages so you can see what's going on. Um, and then if that is your committee and the people that come on that committee to help out, they'll be added to that page too. And that serves as our, as our formal record of uh, committee com conversations and, um, as well. We can all be, uh, be informed on what everyone's doing that way. Okay. okay, anything else? Okay, then without objection, we will adjourn this meeting. Okay, adjourn. Thank you very much. Okay. To viewers at home, your contributions can be sent to P.O. Box.